like the car belongs to BCA, you know how to picture it, you know how to do videos of it. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at BCA in Corby. BCA Auctions or British Car Auctions. So they've got a, a lovely sign written building over there. Fence all the way around. Cars parked on double yellows. <laughs> we've only just arrived. And we've got a cinch.co.uk transporter coming out. Let's see what type of vehicles they have on, shall we? A nice Fiat 500 on the top and a BMW 118, a 22 plate, very nice. And you'll notice that the bollards raised from the ground as well. And they've got like a vehicle lock system, like they have in prisons. So security is definitely tight here. Don't even trust the drivers of the transporters. <laughs> I'm sure if the barrier broke here, it would be replaced on the same day. So the posts have now gone into the ground. The barrier on the other side has closed. And the vehicle is now free to leave. And we've got an 18 plate Vauxhall, a 17 plate Volkswagen Polo there. Not many vehicles on the transporter, is there? And it's same when you come in. You have to stay in the vehicle lock so it's as secure as it could possibly be. Incoming drivers, please report to security. But when it's just normal vehicles, they fill the vehicle lock as much as possible before they lower the barrier. Is this guy gonna make it? Let's see. Yeah, he flashed his lights. He's gonna make it, look. It's like they're all having a race. <laughs> so the barrier comes down at the other side. They rev their engines. So just as the barrier comes down on the back, these will then lower. Yes, look at that. I'd love to stand on top of one of them. So rev your engines, guys. <laughs> Who's going to win the race? And off they go. And they've all got trade plates on. Well, some of them have. Yeah, I'm okay. I can't hear you. Sorry. I said, what do you do? You're not allowed to take pictures and things like that. Why? Because this is a private property. You're not allowed to do that. Yes, but you take pictures of the cars. The car is private. You can't image it. But if I'm standing outside on the road... Yes, but the car is still private. You can't image it. You can't take videos of it. That don't make sense. It makes sense. You can't take videos, pictures that have plates on it of the customers. You can't image it. What, what plates? It's number plates on it. That belongs to a customer. You can't do that. They belong to the DVLA, don't they? No. A car, when you buy a car, yeah. that's yours. Do you want somebody to picture your car or image your car? Well, no, the DVLA own the number plate still. Yes, but the car is yours. Like, the car belongs to BCA. You know how to picture it. You know how to do videos of it. Well, I can't film anyone's car. Not from here. No, from the public road where I'm standing. Yes, 
So you imaging here. You keep your camera imaging the guys going out with the cars. The cars yeah. belong to BCA. Yeah, to Are you sure? You're not allowed you to do it. You need to put the camera away. I, it don't sound right to me. But I don't understand why you're doing it. What's the purpose? Why are you filming? Yeah, yeah, I'm just in the area. I'm just taking a video of uh, anything that I can find interesting, really. But that's not, this is a business, a private business. You can't do that. It's still interesting. Yeah, but still a business. You can't do that. Did you have authorization to do this? You don't need it. Yeah, you need it for a private business. Sorry, you are, you are who? doesn't matter who I am. You need to tell me why you be doing and what you're doing. Yeah, so I won't be long. I'll only be here for about half an hour. Okay. I'm just going to make a little video about BCA, just to put on my... Yeah, but you need to have authorization to do this. I would need authorization if I come in. Okay, I need but to call my line manager because that's just not right. It is. Do you know if I'm standing outside and I'm just pointing the camera in, then that is allowed. That, okay. That's just not... Let me double check that before we yeah. come forward. Yeah, okay. So this is just checking whether I'm allowed to point my camera inside a private property. So hopefully the manager knows better than she does. I was enjoying that as well. The wacky races. <laughs> so yeah, this will be absolutely incredible to see with the drone. Wonder what she's gonna react like when we mention that. Did he say it's okay? Oh, he's coming. I'll wait here. So the line manager is now coming down to see us. Hope he's professional and he knows what he's talking about. I wonder if this used to be a security gate house as well. And this blue one. Maybe uh, in the past, this was a gate here where the barrier is. And it was controlled through that. And then they opened up this area because the concrete looks a little bit newer. And even in the past, this would have been an electric gate here. And you can see all the mechanisms, the old way of doing things down here with the big cog. Yeah. So it looks like it stretches a long way back there. And it even looks like they've got a control tower <laughs> so they can see the whole site from their own vantage point up high. So BCA, British Car Auctions, is a used vehicle marketplace. BCA Marketplace. It was listed on the London Stock Exchange until it was acquired by TDR Capital in November 2019. They call themselves Vehicle Remarketing and Logistics. And it says on their website that you can now buy from our online sales if you're a limited company with business insurance. So whilst we wait for the line manager to arrive, let's have a little look closer at this fancy turnstile, hey? We've got a tablet that can actually see your face. Oh, there's my hand. So it's controlled by facial recognition. But they've placed a turnstile next to a, a fence, which you can push to the side and squeeze through. <laughs> so those that are a bit thinner, you know, ideally there would be this post on either side of the turnstile. You can clearly tell that this turnstile is new. But they haven't thought about that one, have they? But this is also not very good. This catch here should not be up because it's not been locked into position to protect the cover from being taken off. It should look like that, where it's securely in the down position. We have bolts here that are loose. You know, if you unloosen both of these bolts, you could actually take that off the hinge. The whole barrier would just pull to the left. 
So we will highlight these uh, issues to the line manager, see if he wants to take them seriously, which they don't tend to do. I mean, the best thing that I've seen so far are these posts made by Fadint. It's taken its time this time. And another transporter which is not full. Does it make sense to move them transporters around when they're not full? Surely you'd just plan it a little bit better. And then we have the issue of parking on double yellow lines. So let's run these vehicles through, see if they have tax and MOT. And this one as well. I would suspect that these belong to security. And that one even has an illegal crack on the windscreen. If you can see that. Which then leads you down to the, uh, the admin area, what I do suspect is the admin area anyway. All the employees' vehicles, very nice, look. And that one there, top of the range. Then you look into the, uh, the stock, and we've got that. <laughs> so we have been waiting for uh, 10 minutes now. My friend, my friend, can you hear me? I've been waiting for 10 minutes for the line manager and he's not come out. The line manager has not come out. So I'm just letting you know right now that I'm just going to take my drone over to get some aerial photography. I'm letting you know that it's going to happen right now. Thank you. you. Thank you, my friend. So that was a bit rude, wasn't it? While I'm trying to tell him that I'm just going to take the drone over, don't worry about it. Don't fly it. Don't fly it. Don't fly it. Well, you know what happens to somebody that tells us not to do something? Don't do this. Don't do that. You know? Who do they think they are? Don't do this, don't do that. I'm sorry, but you're only a security guard. You are not the Civil Aviation Authority, my friend. All right? Let's remember that. So yeah, BCA Automotive here in Corby. How big are you? Wow, look at that. All them car park spaces. And it stretches all the way down there. Oh my God, this is huge. But where's all your stock? You say you're the largest, but you haven't got the largest amount of stock in my opinion, have you? but you have got a lot of tarmac. Doesn't look like that bit up there is used much. But you've got them in little clusters. So let's go and have a look at the nearest cluster, shall we? Over here. Let's see. I've got a nice pick up there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Try and see some of these names. Kia, Ford, BMW, Renault, Audi, Jaguar Land Rover, Fiat again. Yeah, just a little selection of uh, used vehicles. 
got a mini at the back there with a white roof. Quite common vehicles. Shall we have a look from the front? So you can see all the markings on the floor where vehicles have been parked here recently and you can also see that control watchtower thing that's quite unusual let's have a closer look at this it's even got cameras mounted on it is anyone in there Nope, nobody in there today. And it looks like this is some sort of Valentin Bay, I would presume. Or touching up uh, paintwork, etc. Something that has to be done undercover. We've got another undercover section here. To do some prep. I presume. And then it goes all the way over here. My friend, why do you say I can't take the drone? You're doing it. Why did you tell me no? You're doing it. Why did you tell me no? Why do I tell you no? Let me tell you, I know you're doing it for your living. But when you come here, you are here, you know, oh, you ask permission, but you start doing what you want to do. You see, we are here, oh, guys, I want to do this, I want to do this. You allow you, but you just come, you start doing it. Before I took off, I came here to tell you. But no, you, no, no. you was rude. You say, no, 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 no. I'm not rude. I'm starting the beginning, the beginning. That's why I make it happen so in the beginning. Because I know you're doing it for your living, fine. But we are here. Oh, I want to do this. Do this. We allow you to do. Your boss said the line manager was coming to me. We don't have line manager here. Why did she tell me? I said the manager is okay. He's on meeting. Is your manager coming to me or not? No, no, it's not coming. It's on meeting, so he can't come to you. Okay, I need to tell you uh -huh. some problems that I found here. So I'll get the drone back and I'll tell you, because you will want to know what I found. I do this for a living, so I help you. <laughs> so that was a little bit better. Hopefully we get um, a better relationship with the security here. I think they're supplied by Man, Man Commercial. And we have come across those a few times. but he did confirm that the line manager was not coming. So yeah, on Google Maps, this place is a lot fuller than it is now. But you get the gist, a large car park. But you get the gist, a very, very large car park. So I think these lads have just been out on a road test because they all come back together. You're just doing road tests, mate, yeah? What, so you've collected these cars? Yes. From, From where? Motif. From where? We go to MOT and come back. Oh, you actually you wait while it's been done? Yes. Is it quick then? No, we don't wait. We leave the car there, we come back, we go again. Oh, so when you drop a vehicle off to get MOT'd, yeah. you pick one up that's already been done? All yeah. oh, right, okay. Yeah, Again. but all day, just back is nice one. So what a massive car park they have. All those spaces for the used vehicles. My friend, can you hear me for one minute? I want to tell you something before you go. Um, no, it's serious. Don't, don't laugh. Um, you see this, this bolt here, uh -huh. right? I'm unscrewing it right now, okay? So I can unscrew this with my hand and this one, they're both loose. Look, do you want me to take it all the way out? 
yeah? So when these bolts are off, I could pull this barrier to the left, it would come off this, this here. Do you want me to show you right now? No, don't show you. My friend, listen, just pass that on to your manager because I could take this barrier off right now. And um, would you also like to hear one more thing before you go? Oh, that's a shame. So yeah, as you can see guys, look, I will show you. You see how it's moving, look? It should not be that loose. Two bolts, there's not another one underneath and the whole thing will slide off. So it's all quiet here at BCA. Not much happening anymore. I think that uh, security guard without his SIA license went into this hut here. It didn't really ever get close enough for us to have a discussion about the SIA badge. Uh, the other guy is in there still. So I'll wrap this one up. So we had loose bolts allowing the barrier to be pulled off. We had unsecure catch, which allows this cover. You know, the cover could come off like this. I won't take it fully off, but you get the gist. Control, um, mess with the, the control panel inside. It should be securely locked. We had this gap here to the right of the turnstile where you can easily get through. So a few issues there that we've highlighted. And of course, we also had the parking on double yellow lines there, which I highly suspect. Well, let's leave our suspicions out of it, of who they belong to. And one last thing, there are no signs at all around this area to tell you you are being monitored on CCTV. So I'll leave this one here. Oh, and we also add this very weak <laughs> temporary fence. I mean, look at that. You can push that over. What's the point in having a very expensive turnstile there when you've got such a weak point there? I'm going. I finished. Look here, I'm telling you one thing. I don't hate YouTubers. I follow YouTubers a lot. Really? I'm telling you, Frank, I follow YouTubers a lot. Which one? The one in Ghana. Ghana. What Wadamaya. Do you hear you know him? No. Okay. How many subscribers? You got one one million. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. From China. So I don't hate you, but you know, first you came oh, this 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 it's not that I hate you. Yeah. Because yeah. No, I don't think that you're haters, but as long as we're outside, then photography is not a crime from the public place. Yeah. Yeah. So what we do, we go around all industrial estates. Anything interesting, this looked very, very full on Google Maps, oh. but now it looks empty. Oh, uh, yeah. So that means business is good because you're selling lots. And that's great. <laughs> but do you know, um, to do security here, do you have to have one of those blue badges? Yeah. Have you got one? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. That's it. Is that SIA? Yeah, SIA bag. Yeah. Well, where's yours? Mine is there. Where? It's there. <laughs> why, do you want to, why do you want to see it? No, because um, every time we go around the, um, the industrial estates, we just look at the expiry yeah, date. Yeah, I got it. I got one. Is it on display? I've been for four years. Is it on display? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> take, nice take care, my friend. Bye bye. Oh, it was too nice to grill, really but he clearly did not have it on display. So yeah, if you have enjoyed that video, guys, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. And he loves YouTubers. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.